Hey guys, what's up Aquarius? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip-flop it how you need to. Also keep in mind, this is a general reading. So take what's yours, leave the rest behind. Oh, that was hard um, energy. All right, so take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If this does resonate with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. There is your energy. All right, I keep seeing that. You could have walked away. It could have been a marriage or vice versa. There was some deceit around the situation. Somebody not being very honest. Let's just see where this is going. All right, Aquarius, immediate future. We want to have to fuck. That was a tough energy. That's that was a, um kind of the same thing here. All right, the five and the six of cups. You can already see where this is going. The seven of swords and the five of oh, sorry, the four of wands. So, hmm. all right, you got somebody coming back to you. It looks like this person let you down. They could have cheated, could have lied. Whatever they did, the grass wasn't greener. Show me this five of cups. It's a very different feeling because it's presenting itself as so stable. The eight of swords. Afraid to speak up. Nervous as hell to speak up. Cancer Scorpio Pisces with the queen of cups. You could be like a little moody towards this person, but there's feelings there. Yeah, see the devil. Capricorn energy. Somebody, okay, so it's like they let you down or vice versa, right? The situation hurts you. Um, it's all, almost like with the queen, the queen of cups and the devil, you could be really tuning out your emotions here. But, and it also could have kind of been like fucking with your emotions because you did have emotions in this. But now somebody is, is really nervous here, all in their head. There is definitely, it could have been a cancer here with the chariot card, but trying to move forward, trying to get back on track. I don't like the intent here, though. Yeah, back to this two of cups, back to this mutual love, this mutual bond here. The devil is there, though, so that, that could be a Capricorn. It could be, like, negative cycles, behavior patterns repeating themselves. Um, somebody could just be drinking a lot or, you know, it's any kind of addiction, things like that, but... I also feel like just because of what this outcome shows already, um, you know, there's somebody who's not all the way that honest. Show me the six of cups. So this could be someone that you have children with, that you've known since childhood, things like that. Could be an Aries. But this emperor is wanting to come back around with the six of cups. It could have been, yeah, so you could have worked with this person, but they want to put in the time and the effort into this. Uh, they want to work on things. Could have been honestly like a um, I don't know, that could have been a couple of things. But that six of cups, though, that's that's a sweet energy coming back around to work on things like a a long term friendship feeling. But yeah, the two of pentacles. Somebody's still kind of up in the air, weighing their options. Could be kind of bouncing back and forth, which is what this devil energy is. Could be a Taurus involved as well. There's a lot of abundance in, around you. See, yeah, the Empress. There's stress all around this. We have divine account of uh, divine counterparts with the Emperor and the Empress, right? And we have a soulmate card up here. So you're definitely a, like there's a there's a strong attachment towards this person and that could be what the devil is like a hold like um you feel like this is your one right but on both sides here now the ten of swords we have the eight of swords the nine of swords 
in the ten of swords. Somebody is really in their head worried that this is over here. That this is done. And I don't, I can't even, it's not done. Uh, the reason I say that is because we have the nine of swords. So the ten of swords here, there could have been some type of betrayal, backstabbing, something like that. Something happened and somebody's regretting their actions here. So it's like they're wanting to come back around and work on this. I, the reason I said I can't say it's done is because we have the nine of swords. So we have somebody kind of just stressed and worrying that it's, that it's over. Not really seeing clearly. The eight and the nine of swords is a whole lot of anxiety around this. Show me this outcome for Aquarius. You have the four of wands there, which is commitment, stability. But right next to that, we have that seven of swords. That is a liar. Okay, so wow, we have two marriage cards here for the outcome, okay? But we also have the three of wands in the middle of it all. So we have somebody being a little deceptive here. A little sneaky around this situation, around this connection, around this marriage, around whatever. So it's like waiting for this communication, waiting for these ships to come in. You may be trying to start to build with the three and the four of wands. It's progression. This is communication. Um, it could be from a Taurus or a marriage here. But the three, yeah, the hangman. So it doesn't really seem like someone's taking that much action, honestly. Or if they do, um, it's about analyzing that situation, trying to see things from all perspectives. Because the hangman and the three of wands, is somebody not really taking much action here, um, you know, definitely some deceit around the connection, but it's like waiting, kind of falling back, maybe trying to see things from all perspectives, but somebody is definitely waiting on this communication because we have the world here, which is old cycles ending. So new ones can begin, but we also have the Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is, especially with the Seven of Swords up there, somebody definitely determined to win at all costs. Um, and maybe, you know, that's kind of what's being thought about here. But with the Knight of Cups, definitely wanting to come forward with some type of offer. But either, you know, it's with the Five of Swords, there, the intent behind it. If they do come forward and communicate the intent behind it, it's not great. But there's too many cards here that make me feel like, hmm. It's like, even if you are trying to move forward, it's about analyzing that situation. I wouldn't say there's a whole lot of trust behind it. Because the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords, somebody wanted to win at all costs and a lot of tears too. So, like, no matter what they have to do, but there is, there's mutual love behind it with the Knight of Cups. So, somebody's, like, contemplating on coming forward, but I don't, I don't really think that they, they do so much right now. Yeah. So it's definitely definitely wasn't an honest situation. Wanting to come forward, stress them really bad that it's over. But I can't honestly say that you know somebody gets up and takes that that initiative because there's communication that's being waited on here. And even if they do, I can't say that you're um, all the way responding to it yet. Yeah, see the Hermit, Virgo energy, going within, doing that self-reflection um, and trying to figure out how, how to proceed with things. There's definitely dishonesty around, um, you know, the situation. Could be with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I keep seeing that, but. All right, Aquarius, I hope this helped. I hope this resonated for you. Uh, if so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.